Sit down. I want you to be very sensitive. Sit down. Can I tell you? Do you know how God rewards? There are rewards that will come to you whose the harvest of seeds you cannot remember sowing is because someone connected to you sowed it but the person is no more but since God is just he will have to look for someone from that bloodline to and prove his faithfulness I'm saying this because there are many of you your loved ones are dead but they serve God they gave to the work of the kingdom you will marvel and wonder that God will look for you since you did not sow but because you are part of the natural descent of those people God will visit you with anointings visit you with prosperity visit you with graces in the name of Jesus Christ it is true listen it's not only causes that are transgenerational blessings are transgenerational he's called the God of Isaac the God of of um, the God of Isaac and Abraham Isaac and Jacob there is a reason why he's called that way do you believe what you are hearing ah, look when I begin to speak this prophetic words open your spirit and receive and watch the God who rewards men and watch the God who wipes tears and watch the God who takes away shame and watch the God who can end reproach in the life of people come on turn this revelation to prayer in one minute oh you will reward you will reward you are a God who does not fail. You will reward to the third and fourth generation. You will reward. Reward with power. Reward with good things. Reward with your presence. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Please be seated very quickly. Please be seated. I've taught you here that God rewards men. It's a revelation you must have. God rewards men. Settle it for a fact. Beyond any shadow of, of, of doubt, God rewards men. God rewards men. What does God reward men for? I've shared it here time and time again, perhaps to recap, for your understanding number one God rewards diligent pursuit when people seek God truly he rewards them most of us approach God with a salary mentality so at the end of the month you say God where is my reward that's not how it works sometimes for five years you will not see him speak two years you will not see him speak but my goodness the day he comes he comes to reward you in a way that it becomes clear. He makes a statement in rewarding you. God rewards diligent pursuit. Hebrews 11 verse 6. Without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must come believing that he exists. And then that he is the rewarder not of Christians. Of them that diligently seek him. What does God reward? God rewards faithfulness faithfulness consistency regardless the consequences god rewards it you would have been a multi-millionaire right now if you compromised but your integrity has kept you in this state find hope the rewarder is coming oh yes the works of men are written in heaven god rewards god rewards faithfulness listen there are precious workers in this ministry i tell you from as early as five or six they are up and doing, running around, stretching themselves from pillar to post. If you were God, will you leave them like that? My dear people, sit back and watch the God who rewards, reward you this year. You need to come and watch the prayer department on Tuesday. And you see these people travail from children to grandmothers, crying in the name of the Lord. How does God forget this kind of thing? How about those who give? 
silently not wanting to be known they do it because they love Jesus hallelujah sometimes you see our precious ushers holding people here under the anointing and sometimes you see them fall some of them are wounded all kinds of things yet you see them laughing with joy they are not fools anybody who makes you believe serving Jesus is foolishness you don't need to answer allow God himself who designed the system reward you in a way that people can say wow this is serious so this is how God can reward those who serve him hallelujah there are some of you serving God has almost become a shame and a mockery when it's time to go to church yet come the naysayers you are going again they would deceive you take away your money, indoctrinate you and send you back as a foolish person and you feel guilty loving Jesus, oh goodness except you do not know the God of the Bible this is the year that you will arise in power and it will surprise you beyond your imagination God rewards diligent pursuit God rewards faithfulness God rewards sacrifice God rewards the motif of men you see you can do a lot of good things like you have learned if it is with a corrupted heart you will not get your reward for instance eye service you know what we call eye service doing good things just so that you can have a good name so that you can preserve your reputation before men oh dear you already have your reward the perception you are struggling to give them is your own reward but if from the depth of your heart loving and serving Jesus I want to tell you that God rewards the sincerity of men's hearts hallelujah the sincerity of men's hearts 